Hello friends, today we are going to go through an example of primitive network analysis. In the previous lectures we have learned that in an example that we have given in our system we had brought this regenerator outside and we understand it separately and we analyze it separately here by two methods of a primitive impedance network analysis and the primitive admittance network analysis now today we gave an example that we have one generator bus bar number one bus bar number two bus bar number three and bus bar number four we name it all then this generator is grounded these are bus bars and these are transmission lines connected to bus bars and this portion is the load is connected now I name the voltage of each uh, on um, branch of each element for example the voltage across the terminals of this generator I call V1 then V2, V3, uh, V4, V5, and V6. Now I bring each element separately. I write as the previous the terminals, for example, the terminal between uh, ground and one. This is the ground zero reference, and this node number one. I represent the impedance of the generator in C1, for example, and the EMF generated or the EMF generated by this element that is generator, I call it E1, I connect in series, this is the voltage V1 and the current flowing through this element from reference to the one, I call it I1. This voltage uh, the, across the elements, it means like on the branch of that is located between uh, node number one and node number three, the transmission line, I put node number one and node number two, this element, I draw it separately here. It's impedance, I write Z2 and the EMF generated by this element, I call it E2. The voltage across is V2. The current flowing through this element, suppose in this direction, is I2. According to the impedance primitive network analysis I write this element that is generator as V1 plus E1 is equal to Z1 into I1. Here in transmission line that we have brought out, it doesn't have any EMF generated by this element that is zero. V2 is equal to Z2 
multiply by i2. Similarly, all of these elements, for example, v3 is equal to z3 i3. v4 is equal to z4, the current flowing through this element, i4, and v5, so on. Here, the question comes that how we represent it in general form in a colonized form if we want to represent all these the voltage the impedance and the current of each element but in a colony form because this is my system I want to represent it in a colony form for this system only I use the matrices To understand this, the concept of the matrices representation of this colony form uh, parameters of our system, we go to know the matrices first. If we have one and n of x matrix is equal to matrix A multiplied by matrix y if i separately represent for example this is a column matrix this is a, a three cross three matrix this is three cross one then how we find each one of these variable for example x1 x1 is equal to multiplication of these two matrices uh, all x is uh, equal to the multiplication of matrix A into the uh, matrix Y here x1 only is equal to A11 multiplied by Y11 plus A12 multiply by y2 plus a13 multiply by y3 this is only we find x1 similarly for x2 comes a21 multiply by y1 plus a22 multiply by y2 plus a23 multiply by y3 x3 is equal to a31 multiply by 1 1 plus a32 y2 plus a33 y3 it means now we have according to our system we have these separated representations now we want to represent it in a colony form or in a matrices form here I write the voltage matrix voltage is equal to the Z matrix into the I matrix. V is V1, V2, V3 up to Vn. is equal to and Z is this portion is N cross 1 or E cross 1 the number of the elements multiplied by the 1 it is 
the size of the matrices of the matrices of the voltage and z is e cross e matrix the e is the number of elements and I matrix is E cross one similar to the voltage I one I two I three I four up to I n here is Z comes C one one Z one two Z one three up to Z1 N, uh, Z1 E, sorry. And here it comes Z E1, Z E E. Where is voltage V1? Now, uh, where is V1 is equal to Z1 multiply by I1 plus Z11 multiply by I1 Z12 I2 plus Z13 I3 plus Z1 E, I, N, 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 and E are the number of elements we can write. And V2 is equal to Z1, 2, Z2, 1, multiply by I1 plus Z2, 2, I2 plus Z2, 3, I3. Here, the important question is that in primitive network analysis, in our system, this Z represents the self impedance of each element. Here, Z12 is the self, the, the mutual impedance between bus bar, between element number uh, um, 1 and number 2. This is the mutual impedance between element number z12 is the uh, mutual impedance between element number one and element number two but in primitive network analysis we only consider the self impedance or admittance of each element not the mutual uh, coupling impedances or admittance of uh, between the elements. Hence, in primitive network analysis, this portion becomes zero. All these portions, except the diagonal elements, all becomes zero. Here, Z12 is the mutual, so it becomes zero. This portion is the diagonal elements. It's great. And another portion, so it becomes zero. On overall representation, we can write that V 
is equal to z multiply by i v1 v2 v3 till vn where n is the number of elements and voltages are the branch voltages voltage across each element voltage across each element this is v1 this is v2 v3 across the element line transmission line between bus number 1 and 2 the size is n cross 1 the impedance z is n cross n only z11 z22 z33 till cnn the rest of the ambulances are zero because in primitive network analysis we do not consider the mutual impedance i1 i2 i3 till i n the sizes and cross 